Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the hopeful elect of Israel, you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian, and Haitians. Gotta give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekah, Quraysh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well, who teach well, and the sincere salutation to all the oxen pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, the entire world, working up the hope for the elect. And shalom to the Atwaf who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming to you with another lesson in truth, facts, faith, and edification. And this is another daily edification. And this is <clears throat> Wake Up, Israelites. Christianity and religion has deceived you. I was doing a live screen. But Esau Edom messed with my live screen, you know. So it's okay. It's cool, right? Because I went and checked another video and see if I can watch another video. And it went straight through. But when I go back to my live feed, and it's still going on right now, man. It just, uh, it, it's uh, buffering, right? But it's okay, though, you know. I'm just going to do it like this, and I'll just upload it. And so what I was going into is, um, right, wake up, Israel. You know, your pastors, Christianity and religion have deceived you, man. Okay, you just going to stay asleep, right? The Lord going to destroy you, man, because you're following the wicked ways of these pastors, man, right? And I'm going to go back through all the precepts, man, that I was bringing out in the, in the live stream. And uh, I'm going to start with uh, Isaiah 56 and 10. <clears throat> I'm going to start with verse 8. The Lord Yahweh power which gathereth the outcasts of Israel saith, Yet will I gather others to him besides those that I gather unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour to say, Yeah, all ye beasts in the forest, right? Tell my who? These Edomites and these two-third wicked pastors, man. Okay, because these two-third pastors of Israel have taken the 501c3 charter, right? They have taken, they have made a covenant with death, man. Okay? And they joined to them. And they come to devour you because um they are what? They the Lord said in Ezekiel 34. I mean Ezekiel um uh, 13 and 4. That O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes of the desert, right? So they all they all um deceive us, man. Okay, and they come to devour you, man, right? And they prey upon the weak of you, man. Okay. Why? Because Esau eat them, tell them to do so, man. This is our Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are, are blind. That's why I tell you in Isaiah 29, man. They don't understand these scriptures, man. It said that his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleep and laying down, loving to slumber. I say, yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that are, they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter, and that's what they do. Okay, so when you go to um, Michael. 3 and 11, it reads, the heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money, right? They charge you, man, right? And the word's supposed to be free, man, okay? It said, yet will they lean upon the Lord Yahweh and say, is not the Lord Yahweh among us? No, he ain't, man. The Lord say, in Acts 7 and 4, that he's not in those churches, man. Neither it say, no evil can come upon us. And that's what the pastor tell you, man. Okay, ain't no evil gonna come upon you, man. Right? So going back to Isaiah 56. Isaiah 56 and verse 11. It said, yeah, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. Right? It's these pastors, man. From the Edomites to, to the Jakes, man. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Right? When you go to Isaiah... 29 and 9 it reads this stay yourselves in one or cry ye out and cry they are drunken but not with wine they stagger but not with strong drink for the lord yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep right and have closed your eyes the prophets and your rulers 
the seals have he covered, right? And the vision of all is becoming to you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he say of who? If you false pastors in the church, I cannot for this seal. Because they don't know prophecies, man. All they know is Jesus love you. Come as you are, right? The Lord wants you to be prosperous. And the laws is done away with, right? Do as thy will, spirit, man. That's what they tell you in these churches, in these holy houses, man. Right? They say, in the vision of all is become unto, unto you as the book, as the words of a book that is sealed, man. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned to your false, your fake pastor. Saying, read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. And that's why when you go to these pastors in these churches and you ask them to give you some understanding of a scripture, they're going to tell you we'll come back around to it. We'll get to it at another time. Because they have not learned, man. And they can't tell you. They can't give you the breakdown, man. That's why they say the book of Daniel, the book of Revelation, the book of Genesis is sealed, man. And half of these wacky pastors, they only deal with the New Testament. And then you got some churches, they only deal with the Old Testament, man. Okay? They don't know the scriptures, man. They don't tell you prophecy. All they tell you is come as you are. Jesus love you. Right? He wants you to be prosperous. And the laws are done away with, so do as thy will. Okay? Hey, that's a bunch of madness, man. Go back in Isaiah 56. <clears throat> Isaiah 56 and um, uh, 11. It said, yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. Right? And they are all shepherds that cannot understand. Now, when you go to Titus, Titus 1 and 10, it reads this. For they are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially the day of the circumcision. Now, once they deal with circumcision, they're talking about the house of Israel, right? Tell my Israelites, okay? Two-third pastors, man, that's deceiving you. It said whose mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, man. Who perverting the gospel, man? Okay? They perverting the gospel, subverting whole houses, man. Teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Okay? When you look up that filthy lucre, I'm talking about money, man. They deceiving the people, subverting whole houses for money, man. Right? That's why Michael 3 and 11, man. That's why it's a cold cut to these damn pastors, man. Michael 3 and 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priest thereof teach for hire. And the prophets thereof divine for money. They charging you, man. Right? Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? No, he's not. None evil can come upon us, right? When you go to Matthew chapter 10 and verse uh, 8, it reads this. In verse 7, Matthew 10 and 7. And as ye go preaching, saying, The kingdom of heaven... Verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead. Right? Then the Lord say in Isaiah 35 and 3, man, strengthen ye the weak hand and feeble knees, and them that will be a broken heart. Right? Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. This word is free, man. Okay? When I was doing the live stream, the brother put this precept up. The uh, saints of the Most High Birmingham. The water to that brother for that precept. Proverbs 23 and 23. It say, buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding, man. Right? Now, when you go to Proverbs 4 and 7, it reads this. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Right? When you go to Isaiah 55 and 1, this word is free, man. Okay? And we on an unicorn. We on a unicorn all day, every day, man. Isaiah 55 and 1, it said, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, 
come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk, meaning this truth, this wisdom, not understanding. It said, yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Okay? Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? You paying for, you, you, you taking your hard-earned money all week, right? You working all week, man. Taking your hard-earned money to the churches. And the Lord said, what? Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which satisfies not. You working all week laboring and give your money to that which satisfies not your soul, man. You're not getting the truth, okay? And say, hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good. And let your souls delight itself in fatness. Okay? Hey, man, this truth, man, is free, man. Okay? And you're going to get it from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, down to the youngest disciples, man. Okay? Okay, start with apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That's where the truth lies at, man. Whether you want to accept it or not, man. Okay? And it's free. That's the point, man. This truth is free. This truth is free, man. And your pastors, they lying to you, man. Okay? They lying to you, man. Back in um Isaiah 56 and um 12, it say, Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. Now I read to you Isaiah 29, right? It say they uh they are drunk, but not with wine. They stack, but not with strong drink, right? What is that talking about? It say, um, Isaiah 56 and 10, Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. Philosophies, man, right? Roman Catholicism, Christianity, religions. And tomorrow shall be as this day. So, hey, they doing the same thing every day, man. Being drunk off philosophies, right? And much more abundant. So this is what the pastor tell you. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. Okay? Why? Because they have made a covenant with death, man. Okay? And they deceiving you. So I'm going to read this again, man. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Right? That's the 501c3 charter. Got these pastors like that, man. Lying to you, man. Right? It say, yeah, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. That's why they charge you, man. Okay? Like I was saying in the last feed, man, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm from Mississippi, man. And, and, and growing up, man, you see, hey. You got first, second, third, and fourth Sunday, man. On fourth Sunday, man. Okay, they in church all day, man. Passing the plate around three, four times, man. Okay? Three, four times, man. Right? Giving all your money, man. Because they say what? Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They don't got the truth, right? Hey, the book is sealed to them, man. They, they all look to their own way, right? Prophesying out of their own heart, man. Okay, how they feel. What they say. The Lord say, lean on to your own understanding, man. Right? Everyone for his gain. Because this is about that 50 lucre, man. About that money, man. From his quarter. And they tell the people, come ye, say they. Who? The prophets, the false pastors. I will fetch wine. And we'll fill ourselves with strong drink. Some of my philosophies, man. Right? And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Because the pastor will tell you, hey, come. Let's drink wine. Let's go get some liquor. They ain't telling you that. They tell about them philosophies, man. Right? Roman Catholicism, man. Okay? Religion. Hey, this plantation Christianity, this Babylon Jews, you peoples are asleep off that, man. Okay? You destroy it, man. Right? This is uh, <clears throat> Jeremiah 14, which is one of the precepts I love to go to, man, because, hey, you people that are going to be destroyed, man, because these, these false prophets, they lying to you, man. They are lying to you, man. 
And they're going to cause you to fall into a ditch, man. Okay? Because they lying to you, man. Jeremiah 14, starting at verse 13. Then said I, Then said I, Our Lord, you have a power. Behold, a prophet said to them, Ye shall not see sword, neither shall ye have famine. But I will give you a sure peace in this place. And that's what they do, man. They lie to you in these churches, man. Okay? Giving you, telling you they can assure you a peace in this place. And they can't, man. Okay? They can't, man. They are lying, man. The Lord say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, concerning. Thus saith the Lord, saith unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them. Because you can't choose the Lord. The Lord got to choose you, man. So all these wacky ass pastors that go to these theological seminars, right, and learn from Esau Edom, then they then they get their license, and then they they then the, the Edomites set them up with a church, and they they give them the five hundred one c three charter covenant to deceive you, man, to make you follow them to a ditch, man. Okay, because you can't choose the Lord. The Lord has to choose you, man. Okay, John fifteen and sixteen, man. John uh, six and forty four, man. That's why the Lord said this, verse 14, Jeremiah 14 and 14. Then the Lord Yahweh said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesied unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of not, and a deceit of their heart, man. The Lord said in Proverbs 3 and 5, Lean not unto thy own understanding, man. Okay? So they lying to you. Hey, what Proverbs 20, 20 and 24 say? Man goings are of the Lord, man, right? How can a man that understand his own way? So the, the Lord, what you got to understand is the Lord set up these two third paths to deceive you, man, because he don't want you because you are the same ones that say crucify him and let his blood be on us and our children, man, okay? And like I was saying in the live feed, man, the Lord put the spirit on this chick to kill her two daughters and their daddy, man, okay? She killed the two daughters and the father of the, of the two daughters, man. Okay, that's a heavy spirit, man. And then the Lord put a spirit on this other Jake. He was a lawyer. He was sliding down the um the balance, the um the railings, right, or the steps, wherever he was at. And this devil fell fell all the way down from the third floor and killed himself, man, because he was trying to slide down the balusters, right, slide down the rails, probably playing, slide down the rails, and he fell all the way to his death, man. Okay, a Jake that was last week, man, or earlier this week. The Lord put the spirit on these people, man. Okay, heavy spirit. The Lord had a Jake chick to kill her two daughters and their daddy, man. That's heavy, man. And the Lord, hey, the Lord do heavy judgment every day, man. Tell you himself, night three and five, man. The Lord bring his judgment to light every day, man. Okay, and you're gonna continue to die grievous deaths. Why? Because you keep going to these holly houses every Saturday and Sunday, man. Right, and through the week, man. Revival. Right? First, second, third, and fourth Sunday, man. And the Lord gonna destroy you, man. Okay? Until you all be moved out the way, man. Verse 15, he say, Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh concern the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. Then the Lord say, He come not to bring peace but a sword, man. It say, by sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Now, when you read verse 13 again, it say, this is what the prophets say. It say, ye shall not see sword, neither shall you have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Yahweh shall say in Matthew 10 and 34, I come not to bring peace, but a sword, man. So who's lying? The pastors or Yahweh shall, man? We know Yahweh and Yahweh can't lie, man. Okay? They can't lie, man. So back in verse 15, Therefore does saith the Lord Yahweh, concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Okay? And the people to whom they prophesied. So you two thirds are going to need churches faithfully, man. Okay? You're going to be destroyed, man, right along with your prophets. And the people to whom they prophesied shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem, right? 
because of the famine and of the sword, man. And they shall have none to bury them. Hey, this is going to be heavy in the, in the time of Jacob trouble, man. It say them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters. Okay? For I will pour their wickedness upon them, man. The Lord going to put, hey, you wait, man. He said he got teeth of wild beasts, man. Okay? Dogs to tell, man. Okay? That be spirits created for vengeance, man. Okay, so Rock 39, 28, man. The Lord, and uh, it's, also, it's also in Jeremiah 15 and 3, man. Okay? The Lord going to jack you two-thirds up, man. Why? Because you trusted these prophets, man. Okay? And they don't want you to eat some. Edom got the 51C3 charter taxes in, man. And you got this president. I said this in the live feed. You got this president. He said, if you churches don't accept the LGBTQP, they're going to take your 501 tax exempt, man. Okay? So now, you got to let these homosexual, transgender, and lesbians in the churches, man. Which they already in there. Okay? But now, you can't deny them, man. You can't deny them, man. Okay? If you do, they're going to take your 501 tax exempt status, man. And you pastors ain't finna let that happen, man. Okay? Hey, I, I, you know, like I was saying, man, I cut, my, I cut my father, man. Right? He a deacon in the church, man. I told him, hey, y'all got that 5163 charter, man. The Lord gonna destroy y'all, man. Okay? Gave him over 20, 30 scriptures, man. Asked him what they mean. He couldn't even give them to him. We don't even talk no more, man. We don't even talk no more. Me and my so-called father, we don't even speak no more, man. Okay? My earthly father, I should say it like that. We don't speak no more, man. Because I cut his ass off these scripts, man. Because he is of this father, the devil, man. Okay? And the lust of their father, they're doing, man. All these pastors, man. Okay? They are wicked, man. All of them, man. They lying to you. They have deceived you, man. Okay? With philosophies and vain deceits, man. And they are dragging you into a hole, man. Into a ditch, man. Okay? This is, um... Let's get on Ezekiel 13. And verse 4 reads, O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Okay? And you know what a fox do, man. If you know what a fox do, man, a fox devour, man. Okay? They cut throat, man. Okay? They're going to do anything they got to do to get, get food, man, to eat. Okay? To keep their belly filled, man. That's what a fox do, man. Okay? Just like any other wildebeest, man. They got to eat, okay? Ezekiel 13 and 4. Oh, Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. The Lord telling you, man, if I didn't send them, they're going to be a fox to you, man. And they're going to devour much flesh, man. It said, ye have not gone up into the gaps. Talking about these foxes, the prophets of Israel, these two-third TD snakes and Theflo dollars and Geo Genesis, all these wacky pastors, man. It said, neither, it said, ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divinations, saying, the Lord said, and the Lord, Yahweh, have not sent them. Because John 15 and 16, the Lord have to choose you, man. You can't choose the Lord. You can't just wake up in the morning and say, oh, wake up in the morning Go to some theological seminary, get a license from Esau Edom, and say the Lord sent you to preach the word. No, man. The Lord ain't dealing like that, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not dealing like that, man. He got to choose you, man. Okay? He said, He sanctified. He said He knew you before you was in the womb, man. He sanctified and ordained you, right? To the nations, man. To be a prophet, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let me read that. It's Jeremiah 1 and 4, and it reads, Then the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thy came as forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. What nations? The nation of Israel, man. Okay? To the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay. Back in um, Ezekiel 13, <clears throat> it reads 
They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord said them, and the Lord have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they will confirm the word, right? They have made others to hope that they will confirm the, confirm the word, right? That's why when you read Jeremiah 14, Jeremiah 14 and 13, it says this, but I will give you a sure peace in this place. That's what the prophet's saying. This faith prophet, this these faith pastors are telling you they can give you a sure peace in this place, right? So going back to Ezekiel 13, Okay, Jeremiah 14, 13, they say they can give you a sure peace in this place, right? Say the same thing right here. Right? They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord said them, and the Lord have not sent them. And they have made others to hope, who? You two-thirds in the churches. They have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. What word saying I can, I can give you a sure peace in this place? They lying to you, man. The Lord says, "Swore the famine is coming, chick of trouble is coming." So who lying? Your Shah or your pastors? Hey, you know your how why your Shah can't lie, man. Okay, your pastors lying to you, man. That's why this 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 this, this spirit be on me every day, man. That's all I think about, man. Cause I grew up watching my father deceive people, man. Okay, him, right? And uh, hey, him and other people, man. Growing up in the country, man, Mississippi, man, I don't watch churches everywhere, man, okay, watching Jake get devoured by these foxes of Israel, man, okay, lying, man, uh, verse uh, <clears throat> 7, have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination, yeah, man, all of them, man, because they're not telling you about prophecy, man, this is about prophecies, man. Jacob's trouble. World War III, man. Race riots, martial law, pestilence, famine, man. These things are coming, man. Okay, famine of the word, man. Which is happening heavy, man. Okay, they're taking down the apostles and elder pages. They're taking down brother pages. Okay, this famine of the word is close, man. And you Jake's out here playing games, and you're going to be left in the streets butt naked, man. And say, yeah, have ye not seen a vain vision? And have you not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, you have a power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord, you have a power. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be an assembly of my people. Which is you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you twelve tribes of Israel. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. Why? Because you're gonna have to die and come back as a baby, man. Right? The second death, man. <clears throat> Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah Power. Because even because they have seduced my people. You seduced Jake, man, with lies. Okay, you led them astray, man. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. And I said that in Jeremiah 14 and 13. The pastor said they can give you a sure peace in this place. They lying to you, man. And you people, hey, and I don't understand. You people are so stupid, man. The Lord going to kill you, man. And that's another thing, man. You think the Lord don't do them, but he's all love, man. No. The Lord judge every day, man. Every day, man. All day. Okay? It's hundreds of cities in North America, man. The Lord killing hundreds of people. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of people daily, man. Okay? Heart attacks. Right? Diabetes, high blood pressure, car accidents, getting shot by straight bullets, accidents on the job. Okay, the Lord killed people 24-7, man. What book are you people reading, man? Okay, because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace and there is no peace. And one built up a wall and lo, others darved it with a temple mortar. Meaning lies on top of lies, man. The lies is so thick, it's like untemple mortar, man. Okay, to the bricks, man. 
They done sealed you with a hot iron, man. Oh, that's why I said in 1 Timothy, man. 1 Timothy 4. It reads, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with an hot iron. Meaning you can't change them because they have been dogged with untempered mortar, man. Lies on lies. Hey, right now, when you think about it, Jake is so destroyed from Christianity, man, okay, from being in slavery. You can't change them now, man. Because my grandmama, grandmama, grandmama said this, man. It's been passed down from one generation to another. Hey, that's why when the Lord say, uh, every spirit that opened up the womb, right, shall be called holy unto him. Every male that opened up the womb shall be called holy unto him, right? So the Lord put a stop to that, man. If the Lord brought you into the truth, right, hey, many are called on the fear of chosen. But for the moment, all we know is we are called to do the work, right? So if you call to do the work, if you call to do the work, not knowing if you're going to get salvation or not, it doesn't matter. The Lord woke you up to the truth. So if you called to do the work, man, hey, them lies start with you, man, okay? Or that wacky tacky ass plantation Christianity, it start with you, man, okay? It start with you, man, if the Lord give you the understanding. If he called you to do the work, that means all them lies that we heard from our grandmama, grandmama, all the way back from grandmama to grandmama to granddaddy, them lies stop with you, man, okay? You people got to understand that, man. The lies stop with you. So going back in, um, this is Ezekiel 34. I'm going to start at verse 1. And it reads, And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Because they're not real true shepherds. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Shall not the shepherd feed the flocks? What the Lord tell um John, man? Huh? What do you tell John, man? Just read that, man. This is John 21 and 15, right? I'm start at 14. This is not the third time that Yahweh shall show himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had died, Yahweh shall say to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovers thou me more than these. Meaning what? The fish, man, because he was fishing, right? And he told him, casting that in the water, they pulled it up, it was full of fish, right? So Yahweh shall say, Son of Jonah, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said unto him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. <laughs> he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said it, because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, hey, hey, <laughs> Peter was, Peter was kind of hot, man. He, Peter, so he said, and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say unto him, feed my sheep. Okay. Feed my lambs. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep, man. Okay. Lord said, feed my lamb. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep, man. Okay? Listen, man. What you supposed to be doing is giving warning to Israel, man. That Jacob trouble coming. Right? You supposed to be proclaiming the scepter year of our Lord, Yahweh, that he's finna send his son, Yahweh, shot back, man, to redeem them that were bidden, man. Okay? The five wise virgins, man, which represent the elect. Ezekiel 34, back in 2, it say, Woe be unto the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves, shall not the shepherd feed the flocks? Okay? Come on, man. Verse 3 said, Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe ye with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. 
The Lord said, you killed them that I fed. What is he talking about? Ezekiel 13 and 4. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. What the, what the foxes do in the desert, man? What do they do in the desert, man? <laughs> Back in Ezekiel 34. <clears throat> Ezekiel 34 and 3. You eat the fat and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed. But ye feed not the flocks. Why? Because they are your prophets are like foxes in the desert, man. And all they're going to do is prey on your money, man. Okay? You work all week to take your money to foxes, man. Okay? That's what you Jay's doing, man. You work all week and take your money to foxes, man. Okay? Verse 4. The diseased have you not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick. Then the Lord said in Isaiah 34 and 3, Isaiah, Isaiah 35 and 3, strengthen ye the weak hand and feeble knees, right? And confirm the brokenhearted man. This is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Your pastors ain't doing that, man. The disease have you not strengthened, neither have ye healed the neither have neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have you brought again. That which was driven away. What was driven away? The nation of Israel. Neither had ye sought that which was lost. Then Yahweh shall say, Look, he came to receive that which was lost, man. He came to seek that which was lost. It said, But with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. Huh? But with force, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. You made them. Same way the same way these Edomites did to us on the plantation. They said, Jesus love you. Hit you with the whip. Now say it. Jesus love you. Okay? Now say it. They made you. And the passage, your, your prophet is to say, Neither have you sought them, neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. Yeah, man. And what's one of those cruelties coming today? They're going to make you take the offer of these chip, but they're going to say it humbly. Hey, if you don't take this chip, you ain't going to be able to eat. They're going to see it all soft. They're going to be talking to you all soft spoken. If you don't take this chip, this RFD microchip, man, you ain't going to be able to eat. If you don't take this RFD microchip, you ain't going to be able to get your money, right? And you got to pay your tithes, okay? <laughs> it said, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. The Lord said they became meat to the beasts of the field. Let's read that, man. Um, Isaiah 56, man. Isaiah 56 and verse uh, 9. All ye beasts, let me show you who it's talking about. Isaiah 56 and 8. The Lord Yahweh, which gathered the outcasts of Israel, saith, Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour. Yeah, all ye beasts in the forest. So the Lord is saying, he's going to gather the elect in the two-thirds. He's going to tell the beasts of the field, devour them. Who's the beasts of the field? Edomites, man. Esau, Edom, right? Coming to devour, man, okay? Right? That's why he ate. All ye beasts of the field come to devour. Yeah, all ye beasts in the forest. That's why Isaiah 59, 19 say, the enemy shall come in like a flood, right? But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to lift up a standard. For who? The elect, man. And two-thirds is going to be ate up, man. Which is happening now, right? Because the sword of the Lord is who? Esau Edom, man. His technologies, right? And all his devices, man. His wicked devices, right? So going back to um, <clears throat> Ezekiel 34. Hey, man. And this spirit always on me, man. I'm always thinking about how these how these false pastors are destroying our people, man. They're destroying them, man. They don't know nothing, man. Okay? They are destroyed, man. <clears throat> Listen to this, right? So uh, it's the verse 5 says, And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. We don't have no shepherd, man. Well, we didn't have a shepherd. Now we do. Right? 
The Lord set up the apostles and the elders a great millstone, man. Okay? Then they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered, man. We were destroyed everywhere, man. By Esau, Edom. And them setting up these uh, uh, wacky uh, two-third Israelite pastors, man. Right? My sheep wandered through all the mountain and upon every high hill. Yeah, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them, man. Okay? Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. As I live, said the Lord Yahweh, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, all the nation had a hand on us, man. Because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherd search for my flock. You two-third pastors, you just searching for their money, man. Right? But the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock, man. The Lord is going to help me to judge you. You wacky-ass pastors for that, man. You plantation Christianity pastors, man. The Lord going to tear your head off, man. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power. Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand. And cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more. For I will deliver my flock from their mouth. That they may not be meat for them. Okay. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh power. Behold I even I will both search my sheep. And seek them out man. Then the Lord say he, say he searched out Jerusalem with candles man. Hey. That's why now we have shepherds man. Okay. That's why 1 Timothy 5 and 17 say, give double honor to your elders who are worthy of double honors, man. If the apostles and elders of great millstone is not worthy of double honors, then who it is, man? Who is it? If the apostles and elders ain't worthy of, of double honors, man, well, who tell me on the planet right now, on my comment board, tell me on the planet right now who is worthy of double honors on this earth, man? Okay? If it ain't the apostle elders of Great Millstone, man, you tell me who it is, man. Let's get on. Um... Oh, Deuteronomy 23 and 1. Let me read this. Deuteronomy, I mean, uh, Shalakia, uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1. It reads, Woe be to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel. Against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. How? By lying to them. Roman Catholicism. You have driven their mind away. That's why Jake's so gone on religion, they can't come back, man. Okay? You tell them the law's done away with, that Jesus loved everybody, okay? Knowing that our enemies, we the Israelites got enemies, man. And it's all 17 heathen nations. But you ain't tell them that. You tell them Jesus love you, right? Come to church as you are. You can be part of the LGBTQP. Definitely not, because if you don't tell the church that they can be LGBTQP, the government is going to take your 501 tax exam. So you definitely got to bring in, right? You tell the people that the Lord loved them. Come as you are. The Lord wants you to be prosperous, right? And the laws are done away with. So do as thy will. That's what you tell them people, okay? Do as thy will, man. You only live once, so do as thy will. They lying to you, man. And they're going to be destroyed for that. So Jeremiah 23 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power Israel, against the past that feed my people. Yeah. It say, yeah, have, it say, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evils of your doings, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? You're going to be destroyed, man. At least you repent, man. Okay, convert and be healed, man. You're going to be destroyed. All you false, wacky pastors, man, with that plantation Christianity, the Lord going to destroy you, man. Okay? This is um, <clears throat> Isaiah 42 and 19, and it reads, Who is blind but my servant, or deaf, as my messenger that I sent, who is blind as he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant. 
Didn't the Lord say Amos 3 and 7? He, he revealed his secret to his servant, the prophets, man. Again, Isaiah 42 and 19. Who is blind but my servant? All your two-third pastors is blind, man. They don't know a damn thing, man. They blind. It said, who is blind but my servant? Or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant? Seeing many things, but thou observeth not. Opening the ears, but heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable, man. What is that talking about? The law is done away with you devils. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver. For a spoil and none self restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Okay? Talking to you Israelites, man. Who gonna hear this, man? Delay. Two thirds don't want it. Because you people gotta understand, Jake have been so destroyed with religion, they hugging their enemy, man. Okay? Jake has been destroyed with Stockholm Syndrome, man. Okay? Stockholm Syndrome is a disease. It's a mental illness. Okay? You hugging the killer of one of your family members. That's Stockholm Syndrome, man. Why? Because you trust no oppression, man. Isaiah 30 and 12. The Lord say, your teachers shall not be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. That ain't talking about in the church, man. These pastors in these churches, they in corners. Being in Boston in the four corner wall, that's a, that's, a, that's a corner. They in the church, that's a corner, man. The Lord said, thine eyes shall see thy teachers, right? And you shall hear a word behind thee. When you turn to the right hand and to the left. That's talking about the highways and byways, man. You talking about no damn church, man. So you people that don't want to get up off your ass and go to the highways and byways and look out for the truth, go to the unicorn, which is the internet, the Lord going to destroy you, man. Okay? Because what you got to understand, the Lord set up these two-third pastors to deceive you, man, in soft raiment. Okay? The Lord said, they that wear soft raiment be in king's houses, man. They in these churches. Who's the king? Esau Edom. They control the churches, right? Roman Catholicism control the church, okay? The Roman Catholic Church control all religions. I don't care what religion it is. Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, Jehovah Wickedness, Buddhism, Hinduism, they are controlled by Esau Edom, okay? This is um, Isaiah 65 and verse 7, and it reads, Your iniquities... And the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord Yahweh, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. He said your former work, old time, ancient. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. It's these same philosophies, man. Roman Catholicism, Christianity, religions. So will I do for my servants' sake that I may not destroy them all. The elect. Verse 9, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountain, and my elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. He said, and I will bring a and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah. Tell my Yahweh man. Okay? You people better give the program, man. You're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, we're telling you constantly. This is Matthew 12 and 30. And it reads. That's why it's still on my mind about how these pastors deceiving Jake, man. And Jake is gone, man. They gone. Matthew 12 and 30. He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad, man. Okay? Hey, man, if you're not with your house, you have a shot, man. Then you are scattering. You, you are further, and this is the time of gathering the Israelites, man, the elect. And you are still scattering. But you know what? That's the Spirit of the Lord to keep you scattering the two-thirds because he don't want them because he's not the same one that said, crucify him and let his blood be on us and our children. Okay? 
So he don't care about you two thirds, man. You'll come back in the kingdom, right? This is Isaiah <clears throat> 33. And um, uh, we start at verse 16. Isaiah 33 and 16, and it reads. We start at verse 13. It says, Heal ye that are far off what I have done, and ye that are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners of Zion are afraid. They say, Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites, who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire. Who? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Who? Question mark. Verse 15 tell you who. He that walketh right. It say he that walketh righteously. Right? And speaketh uprightly. He that despised the gain of oppressions. He that despised the gain of oppressions. What did Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 say? Surely oppressions make a wise man mad. And a gift destroy the heart. Listen to this, man, because they both lead together. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain of oppression, that shaketh his hand from holding of bribes. I say he that shaketh his hand of holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ear from hearing off blood. He that stoppeth him, he that stoppeth his ear from hearing of blood. The Lord say, hold back, hold back not thy sword from blood, right? You're supposed to uh, lift up your voice, spare not, right? And shut up his ears from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munition of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His walls shall be sure. Who is that? The elect. Isaiah 65, the Lord say what? His servant shall eat. Right, Isaiah 65 and 30, and Isaiah 65 and 13, his servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. His servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. His servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be in mourning. Right? Let's read this again. <clears throat> Isaiah 33 and 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with a devouring fire? It say, who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Then the Lord say, glorify ye the Lord in the fires, right? Did it tell you in um, uh, Revelation, that um, Revelation 14, that the elect is going to praise the Most High in fear, right? Matter of fact, let me read that so you can understand where I'm going. Revelation 14 and verse, uh, is it, uh, let me see, uh, Revelation 14 and 14 and 4. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Okay, so this is uh, Revelation chapter 11, right? In verse 12, it says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying to them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them, right? In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, which is North America. If you understand, every state, every city have a, uh, a zip code and an area code, and each one of them starts from zero to nine. From zero to nine is what? Ten numbers, right? So it say, in the tenth part of the city fell, which was North America going to be separated into ten FEMA zones, right? And then the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to the power of heaven, right? That was the point I wanted. And the remnant gave glory to the power of heaven. The remnant is who? They tell you that in Romans nine, right? The rom the, the the remnant is the elect of Israel, right? So. When you go to Isaiah 24, Isaiah 24 and 15, it reads this. Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord, Yahweh, in the fires. Even the name of the Lord, Yahweh, power Israel in the isles of the sea. So, when you understand 
Isaiah 33, right? Isaiah 33, it say, the sinner, Isaiah 33 and 14, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Filthiness has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Hey, then Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, right? Dwelling in the devouring fire. It say, who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burnings? Who? Verse 15, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that despises the gain of oppressions. It said a gain of oppressions. What is that? Receiving benefits from the Edomites, right? He that despises gains, listen to this, man. He that despises the gain of oppressions, right? Getting gifts, man, benefits, right? He had received benefits and now have not known the Lord. It say, they shake of his hand. It say, that shake of his hand from holding of bribes. What's the bribes? The 501c3 charter, right? Taking these different things from the Edomites, right? That stop of his ear from hearing of blood and shutting his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munition of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure, okay? It's talking about the elect, man, okay? Again, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, right? And when you read, um, what is that, Amos 5 and 10, it says this, man. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and that and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, right? So going back to Isaiah 33, <clears throat> and verse, um, um, again, verse 15, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that divide, he that despises the gain of oppressions. Okay? Sure, little oppression make a wise man mad and a gift to stroke the heart, man. To elect man, it will. He that despises the gain of oppressions, that shake of his hand from holding up bribes, man. Of bribes. You ain't gonna take no bribe and eat a mite, man. Because the gift to stroke the heart, man, right? Who are they talking about? The elect, man. Okay? The elect, man. And you can't get around it, man. And I'm going to close with this. Isaiah 28 and 14. This is that bribe that two-thirds is going to take, man. Isaiah 28 and 14 said, Well, for hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, ye scornful men. Talking about you Israelite, you two-thirds. That rule this people, which is in Jerusalem. Tell my Israelites. Wicked two-third Israelites. It say, um, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. Okay, it said it in Isaiah, Isaiah, right? It said it in Jeremiah 14. It said it in Amos 9 and 10, right? Evil, it said, surely the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. You said that in Micah 3 and 11, right? None evil shall come upon us. Hey, they lying to you, man. They are lying to you, man. It said, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell. And when you read Habakkuk 2 and 5, it tell you that the Edomites are hell and death. When you read Psalms 9, chapter 16 and 17, it tell you that the Edomites are hell, man. It say, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell, are we at agreement with the overflowing scroll that shall pass? It said, when the overflowing scroll that shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge. And on the falsehood, how we hid ourselves. These two thirds pastors, man, with these five one six three charters, and these people that go to these holly houses, right? These troops, okay? They, they like, like they like troops in the holly houses. You have made lies your refuge, man. Okay, that's why. Hey, that's why King David said, "What man? Our refuge is under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. In truth, okay. Esau is the wicked. They the lies, man. Okay. Job thirteen and four, man." They are all forces of lies, man. Okay? They are all positions of no value, man. <clears throat> Verse 16. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh power. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Who is that sure stone? Who is that tried cornerstone? Yahweh shy. 
Verse 17, judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. Okay? Hey, the truth going to spring out, man. Okay? And the hell shall sweep away the refuge of the lives. Hey, the missiles, man. Hey, okay, the missiles are going to sweep away these Edomites and all their wicked uh, wisdom. That they, they, they wicked society of wisdom and technology is going to all be swept away. It's saying, hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies. And the waters shall overflow the hiding places. What waters? It's truth. It's going to overflow everything. Okay, you Edomites ain't got nothing secret no more. Everybody know about you Edomites, man. Okay, it's out now. Right? Ain't no more secret in society, man. You are revealed in society. Okay? It say, um, and the water shall overflow the hiding places. The hidden places. The hiding places. Right? Everything, man. That's why Matthew 10 and 26 say, that which was here shall be revealed and made manifest, man. Okay? Tell you the same thing in Luke, man. Chapter 7, man. Okay? It say, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. Because the truth is going to come up, man. It's out now, man. Okay? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. But in verse 14, in verse 15, they said, For we have made refuge our lives. They said, When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. That's a lie. The Lord said, What in the 18? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it, man. From the time that goeth forth, it shall take you. From morning to morning shall it pass over. By day and by night, it shall be a vexation only to understand the report, man. Why? Because the Lord says this, man. This is Zephaniah chapter, chapter 3 and verse 5, man. He said, from morning to morning, man. The just Lord Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. He fell up not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Hey, so back in Isaiah 28 again. Isaiah 28 again in verse uh, 19. From the time that it goeth forth, what? The overflowing scourges. From the time that it goeth forth, for it shall take you, who? Two thirds of Israel that trust in these wacky pastors that's leading you to a grave, man. It said, for, for morning by morning shall it pass over. That's why I read Zephaniah 3 and 5, man. Okay? The Lord said, every morning do he, do he bring judgment to light, man. Okay? So you two thirds, man, hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. The Lord got something special for you, man. Okay? So with that, man, got to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rukakurash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who teach well. In a sense, he'll say, taste to all the Akim, pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect, the entire world, waking up the hopeful elect. And shalom on to the Akwa who are listening and learning. You few sisters who are listening and learning. Okay? Lord, willing to edify, till next time, shalom.